Now the first thing that you're going to do before using an SRL is inspect it to make sure that it is in a condition that would be suitable to use. That means we're going to inspect all the moving parts. We're gonna look in the carabiner, make sure that the locking mechanism opens and closes completely. We're gonna look at the snap hook to make sure that the gate does not open up unless you activate it. And once you do, we will make sure that it opens completely and closes completely. We are also going to make sure that the fall indicator is not engaged, indicating that someone has already suffered a fall while using this piece of equipment. Once we get done with that, we're going to be inspecting the housing. We're going to make sure all the fasteners are in place. They're not loose, they're not missing, they're not broken or jagged, have any jagged edges. We're gonna make sure that the, well, back on this side, the manufacturer label is still on the piece of equipment and it is legible or readable for the for the user. Now there is a lot of information that is located on this manufacturer information that you are required to be able to read and understand. So if for, for some reason the manufacturer label is missing, it's damaged or faded, whatever the reason is, if you cannot read this information, you cannot use that piece of equipment. Now when we're looking at the outer housing, we're looking for any kind of rust along the fasteners or any other metal components. We're looking for any kind of cracks or any kind of de deformations or damage that the outer housing has sustained. On the hardware, we're also looking for any kind of deep cuts or rust damage, any kind of bends in the shape of the carabiner or the snap hook. Once you inspect that, then you are going to pull the cable out completely out of its housing and you're looking for any kind of additional cuts or burns, chemical damage, exposure to the environment. And as you get done looking at one side, as you let it retract back into the housing, you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna look at the other side of the cable as you slowly let it retract back into itself. One thing we forgot is the stitching. You have to make sure you look at the stitching to make sure that all the stitching is intact. There's no rips, there's no incomplete patterns, and there's no loose stitching. And once you've inspected to make sure all the moving pieces are moving freely and operating the way that they're supposed to be working, you've looked at the housing, and you've looked at the entire length of the cable, then you're going to do something known as the shock test, which is probably the, the funnest part of this inspection, or at least probably to me because you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd like that. But if this is installed way over your head, the only thing you do is grab the snap hook, jerk it down very quickly, and it should be no more than that much material comes out of the housing. If anything more, if it keeps going, then it needs to be removed from service because it's failed inspection. If this is hanging, if this is a smaller SRL that hangs on your back, grab the housing with one hand. With the other hand, grab the snap hook, give it a nice hard jerk, a nice hard tug, or nice hard pull, and again, not more than that much material should be coming out of the SRL. Now at the end of the day, if these are installed way over your head, you're not going to be able to inspect the full length of the cable. So in that instance, you pull out as much as you can and you look at as much as you can. During the quarterly inspections or annual inspections, how often the actual documented inspections are held with your company organization, these will be removed from that overhead location and the entire contents of the SRL is going to be inspected. But if you have an SRL that is attached to the back of your D-ring, your dorsal D-ring on the back of your fall protection harness, you are required to pull out the entire contents of that SRL and inspect both sides of the cable before using. Now at the end of the day, these are designed to save your life in the event of a fall. Whether it be an SRL, a fall protection harness, your anchor point that you choose to connect off to, or the lanyard that you use to connect yourself to that anchor point. These are key components in your personal fall arrest system designed to save your life in the event of a fall. So there's no room for shortcuts. You take your time, perform your inspection slowly and thoroughly to make sure that when at the end of the day, if you were to fall, these are gonna be there to save your life.